Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad! This year, I just wanted to make a video and show you how much you truly mean to all of us. I wanted a way to show you what all you made possible. You mean so much to me. If it wasn't for you, I would probably be homeless. You guys helped me so, so much. And I just needed a way to let you know that I love and care about you even though I don't really have the money to buy gifts I thought that what's better than buying gifts than seeing what you all made possible you raised three beautiful God-fearing kind women and two of those women are now married with five beautiful grandchildren between them. And you guys made that all possible. If it wasn't for you, we Merry wouldn't Christmas, be Merry Christmas, mom and dad. Hey, I am Papa. I love you and you always make me laugh and you are the best. Yeah, I am Papa. Thank you for all this stuff. You thought I was love you. Um, it's just funny how the older we get, the more I notice we're like you. Like we're um, um, very forgetful. Um, we, we we think we're listening to each other, and then sometimes we miss half the things that we say to each other. <laughs> and you're like, I told you that. And you're like, no, you didn't. We always, we always somehow miss communication with each other. Because when we were kids, um, Jonathan you used to always say, you know, kiss my toe every time we walk by in the living room and you're always in your underwear. And I never thought twice of it. Like, is this, is this what we were born into? Do you wear your underwear on the house? Like if I went to somebody else's house and they were wearing their underwear, I would think it's so weird. But I don't think twice about it with you, even now. And you know, 20 years later, you still walk, we still walk by and you say, you want to kiss my toe? You want to kiss my toe? And now it's, <laughs> now you say it to the kids and they'll always remember that too. We just always have fun um, hanging out together. And I hope that when my boys get older, we'll have that same bond, even though they're boys. I have no idea how that works with boys. I just want to say thank you for all that you do for us all the time. We really appreciate it. We may not tell you as much as we should, but I just want to let you know that we are very thankful for all that you do. Um, we love you. I love you. <laughs> On our way to church to Bartow, Jonathan, you always sing to us. Like you would always sing Patches. We would always request that song. <laughs> and we would always request um, On Top of a Smoky and that song 10, 20, 30, 50 more. Someone let a fart at the grocery store. I, I miss those memories. Like I always had a good time watching you. <laughs> Hearing you sing those, it was so fun. I had so much fun when we went to New York City. Both times when we went, I had such a blast. I enjoy traveling and I cannot wait to go to New York City with you again, Mom. It was so fun that um, I actually think about it probably every other month about our trips to New York. I, I think the funniest time was when we were so cold because we wanted to go see the Statue of Liberty, but we were freezing. We went to Starbucks and then came back out and got very touristy, bright pink, I love New York City sweaters. That was hilarious. I think everyone on the trolley knew that we were tourists. Um, that's one of my absolute favorite memories. I just want to thank both of you um, for everything you do for our family. You guys have helped us tremendously. And I just want you to know that we are absolutely thankful. And if we don't show it, I promise you we are so thankful. One of my favorite memories about dad is that he started going with us to Megacon and it was in those moments that I realized how much me and dad are alike. We are both very nerdy and also when we go to concerts together it's clear that I got my taste in music from him. And in high school one of my favorite memories with mom was that when I didn't have friends or my friends were and I weren't a feud that you were always there for me you would hang out with me you'd say I'm your friend and so that was really nice to have someone to spend the weekends with whenever I had no friends in high school and I don't have real human children so B yes this is your grandchild from me and he says Merry Christmas as well. 
And it was if it wasn't for you, B wouldn't be here. And he's so happy to be here where he can eat all day. I bet you if he would have gone to another home, he wouldn't be this fat. You both just make me laugh all the time, always. I feel like I'm always laughing and I feel just so happy when I'm around you guys. You just make me feel good. So anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video showing you how much we care, how much we love you, and how thankful we are to have you in our lives. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, or that feels like you're laughing all the way. Bells on Bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.